Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sean Purgal. I'm a manual osteopath and today I want to speak with you how your own positivity and positive thinking and being positive affects your patients recover faster from their disorders. In the previous video that I made indoors, this is my second video indoors. I just came back from Naples, Florida, where uh, my university is located, National University of Medical Sciences, USA. It's the first and only school of manual osteopathy in the United States uh, since 2016. Uh, I came and uh, I'm in Canada now. I'm indoors uh, in quarantine. So this is my second video made in quarantine. And uh, today I want to speak uh, with you about uh, positivity. In the previous video that I made yesterday, I, ex I explained how being negative and negative thoughts and stress can actually shorten your life, can um, make you age faster through two different pathways uh, by affecting your the telomeres in your DNA and by bombarding the sympathetic nervous system and causing it to fire up, uh, which causes production of uh, inflammatory cytokines by affect, uh, to uh, the stress hormones, epinephrine and cortisol, and uh, that the chronic infl inflammation that ha stays with you for a long time uh, can actually shorten the telomeres in your um, in your uh, DNA and make you uh, die sooner than others, make you get a lot of uh, uh, chronic conditions such as cardiovascular diseases, uh, cancer, brain disorders, and in some cases diabetes. But the good news is that being positive can counteract all those conditions and can help in a lot of way with your life to keep you healthy, to um, uh, improve your lifestyle. Uh, being positive actually helps you uh, make more money, have a better income uh, as well. Uh, uh, but today specifically, I want to speak about how it affects your patients. Can you imagine that your own positivity can affect how well your patients recover from their injuries, sickness, and whatever the disorders they have that they, they come to you to seek help? Being positive is, has tons of benefit for you. I have been a positive person. I think positives all the time. Uh, I am being positive and uh, it helped me tremendously in my life. Last year I was in um, Italy, Venice, and I was so happy I found a watch, uh, think positive watch. It, not a very expensive one, something I, I forgot, 50 euro or 75 euro, but I love this watch, think positive. I look at it, I don't wear watch at home, inside home, I am home now, but I just wanted to wear it to show it to you. It's a really a nice uh, nice uh, watch, it says think positive, and um, it makes me happy all the time uh, by, uh, by doing that. I, always follow positivity not it's not always that good sometimes i get into trouble for being too positive <laughs> uh, i remember in my first job as a chiropractor before i became manual osteopath i was a chiropractor and uh, i used to start 7 30 at the beginning and uh, one day the clinic owner my friend dr nessa fernandez called me in he said he wants to talk to me and uh, i went there and i was surprised and he asked me are you doing drugs i said what uh, i was shocked and i said why are you asking me this he said because the secretary says at 7 30 in the morning he asks you how are you and you say I'm great on top of the world. It's a beautiful, lovely world. He said, who would talk like that at 7.30 in the morning? <laughs> but that's, that's the way you should be. When you're happy, you attract things to you. When you're positive, you attract things to you. How many times have you been attracted to a negative person? Rarely, if any at all. Most of you, when you get attracted, when you will do business with somebody, you go with those who are positive people. 
positivity attracts people. Another time I remember I, I, I was driving, uh, I had uh, at that time a uh, Porsche Carrera, uh, Carrera 4 uh, a long time ago and I was driving convertible and I was smiling, was happy, I always drive on a smile and a po police stopped me and again he asked me if I'm uh, if I uh, smoke something and I said no you know uh, he and it was funny he told me you can tell me I'm your friend uh, you can tell me <laughs> I said no he said but why are you driving and smiling nobody drives on the smiles and uh, I, I told him I'm just happy I love my life uh, I have a good job I have a good life and uh, I, I'm just happy and uh, he said uh, he was a very, very nice guy, and I said, in any case, even if somebody smoked, uh, would they tell you? And he said, you can't believe so many of them, they tell me. Uh, but uh, joking aside, these two things uh, aside, uh, it's, it's really good to be positive, to have an uh, optimistic uh, outlook on life. You live longer, you make more money. And, uh, but again, as I said, uh, this video is about how you can affect your patients uh, through your being positive. Uh, they have done a number of research, uh, uh, and um, I went over this with my students in my uh, lectures with them, uh, in different type of professions, from doctors to, to teachers and so on. And they find that always what whenever the the person who gives a news or acts in a positive way has a fundamental effect on the person who's receiving it it could be placebo effect could be many other things we don't know exactly how it works for sure placebo has a part in it but it makes no difference it uh, doesn't matter how it affects when you turn on the electricity on and off it, you don't care what is working inside there to make the lights come out. You want the lights to come out and that's why you press the uh, bottom to turn the lights on. So the same with this. Being positive helps people, helps your patients recover faster. So uh, how it happens, uh, some researchers might exactly find that exact reason, but it shouldn't make a difference in us. They find that in cancer patients, for example, you think somebody who gets cancer, uh, they have a, a standard prognosis and uh, uh, depending on their immune system and other, uh, they may recover well or not, which is true, which is true. Of course, immune system has a part in it, eating healthy, uh, having a healthy lifestyle, per, uh, you know, if you have preconditioned uh, other disorders in your body, these are all things that affect it. But get this. How the doctor delivers the news has a big outcome on the recovery of the patient. For example, imagine if the patient has a 50-50 chance of dying in six months or a year because of this uh, disease, because of this cancer. They did research, they found that the doctors who say you have a 50% chance of dying in the next six months. And the doctors who said you have a 50% survival rate in the next six months, those doctors who talked about survival, who talked about living, their patients recover better than the ones who talked about death. This is powerful stuff. Can you imagine that? With just words, with how you say the word, you can affect a person's life. You can kill him or her, or you can save him or her. Words are so strong. The Bible says, at the beginning, there was word. Before anything else, there was word. Word of so strong. How you deliver your words have a fundamental detrimental effect on your patient's health. Why do you think my students do so well treating uh, patients? 
we always focus on, we say we treat last resort cases, we do miracles, we, uh, we are the best choice for chronic pain. This already, when the patient comes, when he or she hears this, already is started the healing process. Of course, you have to follow the law. You cannot claim you cure anything. It's against the law in many jurisdictions. One of the subjects I teach is jurisdictions and ethics. At my, at my three schools that I founded, the National Academy of Osteopathy in Canada, the National University of Medical Sciences Spain in Madrid, and the one in uh, NAMS USA in uh, Florida, uh, they are three of them the largest provider of manual osteopathic education in the world with alumni in 72 countries. I also founded Osteopathic Chronic Pain Clinics of Canada in September 2017. From one clinic, we now have 333 clinics in 30 uh, countries, uh, including USA, Spain, South Africa, um, and many other uh, countries, Bermuda, and so on. Um, but uh, we follow the law. Of course, you cannot say that you cure a disorder. You cannot give a specific dead, uh, date a date line to the patient. You can't say in two uh, in two weeks you will be hundred percent cured. These are against the law, and this is obvious uh, in ethics lecture, jurisprudence lectures. We go over that uh, with our students, and if you're a health professional, your school obviously went uh, over this as well. But you can give general things. Uh, in your reception area, in your brochures you make per, uh, to prepare the patient. The way you speak with your clients, with your patients, uh, can help them get better. You can say, uh, for example, uh, most patients with a low back pain problem, uh, uh, most of my patients in, uh, with low back pain uh, problem uh, in the first visit, visit they get a lot better after just the first visit. You can say that and your patients most likely will get better. It helps them. Uh, it's not, of course, the only thing, but uh, it helps them a lot. Or you say, yes, you give your uh, guarded prognosis and be safe and, uh, you know, be guarded. It will show in your, uh, you, I know you, uh, some people want to protect themselves and they don't want to promise a cure which is good but how you speak and how you use word can make a big difference in the recovery of your patient if you say i don't know it's, it's uncertain how well you will uh, how well uh, you will uh, respond to the treatment we cannot say for sure it's just a chance some people get better some people not, uh, do not get better while this is true this will not help patients you can say uh, you can say things like uh, many many of our uh, Clients have responded really well to osteopathy after even the first visit, they get better uh, and uh, so on. So think about how you speak. We have classes on this, how you speak to your clients in our schools because it is of utmost importance. I have many lectures on positivity. I have over 200 lectures on business management. I teach my students everything I know about business and that is why our graduates uh, do so well financially. Our graduates in Canada uh, make on average over, over $60,000 a year uh, more than other manual osteopaths with a gross income of $150,000 a year in Canada because of these business lectures. And some of these business lectures, I spend a lot on positivity and I uh, we work on our students how to speak to their clients, to their patients, because it is of utmost uh, importance of uh, how you speak to your patients. A patient who gets better faster obviously is great for the patient because the pain is gone. That brings you uh, a lot of emotional satisfaction. But also financially, a patient that gets better faster uh, will refer more people to you and that patient will be a happy patient. This is, uh, this is uh, very good for you financially and emotionally as well. 
as I said, there are tons of research on that, uh, and um, not just in the healthcare field, in many other fields too. In uh, teaching, for example, uh, they did a lot of research. They find that when a teacher, for example, says that um, a, a number of students every, every semester fail in this class, they get more students fail in that course than uh, the, the, when the teacher says uh, most of the students pass this course uh, every semester. Though, uh, those students, most uh, they, there's a less chance of failure in that class when the teacher talks like that. Just one sentence can dictate to you how you will respond as a student in a class. This is one reason why my students are happy, positive people, and they're financially successful. We work on them. We work to change their brain, to make them better. We improve their lives. We improve their brain. These are, we use scientific principles that can be replica uh, replicated from a student to a student. We take the guesswork out. We take the art out, not fully, but we, uh, we focus a lot less on the art. We focus a lot more on the science because art is highly individualistic. So some people do good, some people do not do well. We remove that. We focus on science because science gives you, if you do A plus B plus C, you end up with D. And if, if everybody follows A, B, and C, they reach to D. This way, you remove that artistic part from the equation. You make all students become good manual osteopaths, become successful manual osteopaths, instead of just some of them who are good uh, in doing the techniques better or not. By uh, focusing on science, uh, it can be replicated. Everybody can be replicated. I am a uh, replicate the success. I'm a scientist, and I highly believe in science, and I highly believe that to uh, being uh, replicated, making like a franchise system uh, where everything has an order, uh, you can get the same result. That's what they do. Look at McDonald's. You go or Burger King or Harvey's. Any other store you go, most likely you get the same style of service and food and product. Doesn't matter who provided. The worker is not important in those businesses. Work, worker can be John, Jane, David, Alex. Makes uh, no difference. They will provide the same services. While uh, in individual restaurants, it depends on the owner. If the chef is good, it provides good food. If not, it will not. So by following scientific-based principles, you can do so. And the same with positivity. You can make yourself positive. If you follow the certain rule and follow it enough, you can change your life. Negativity can kill you. It literally can kill you. It, can, it will keep you poor. It will not allow you to become rich and successful and wealthy. No negative person can become rich. Of course, you know, there, what I tell you, these are based on average. There are always exceptions. Uh, somebody can win a lottery, for example, by chance. Some, somebody can uh, have inheritance. These are just ch ch very small percentage. But for the majority of people who take themselves up from zero and go up and become successful, they need to be positive. I, I think a lot of the reason why I became successful in life it has to do with my being a positive person. I came 34 years ago in Canada. I was homeless. I slept in shelters. I came as a refugee and I washed dishes in downtown Toronto restaurant. And uh, uh, then I put myself up to the point that I was charging a thousand dollars per hour for my services. Uh, it's the positivity because there were tons of time, hard times that I went through tremendous troubles and problems. But the positivity gave me energy. It gave me passion. It just took me up and I said, this day will pass too. And I understood every night ends with a day that 
there is something worse than this thing that happening and i always look at what is the last worst thing that can happen and i see even that is not so bad and this part being positive uh, give me enough energy to continue with my work to, for a better life so you have to become positive that is the reason why i focus so much on it with my uh, students you're not positive, you will not become successful. And your patient will, uh, while might get better, they get better less than uh, another manual osteopath, another health professional who is a positive person. For being positive attracts people to you and to your business and to your services. So please take it from me, do it for your health, do it for your income, do it for your patient. Being positive will change your life. In another video, I will explain how you can test to see if you're a positive person or not and uh, how you can make yourself more positive. But right now, it's uh, my uh, running time. Even in quarantine, I uh, enjoy being positive and I find something that I love. I never used to run before, now I run uh, about an hour a day in the living room, the library, uh, and, uh, and the kitchen. I make a circle uh, and, I, and I love it. I, I used to do bike two hours a day, but now I cannot because I, I can't go out. So uh, I wanted to be active. I started running. I was always afraid of running. I thought it's going to be hard. Uh, but no, it was really fun and I fell in love with it. I love how it feels and uh, and uh, I'm planning, I set up a new goal to do a 10 kilometer run uh, and I'm uh, grateful to God. Thank you God for uh, introducing me to running and make me run again. Yeah. Um, it's just beautiful. Uh, you find there is beauty and there is positive news in every bad things that can happen this is not the end of the world you we all will pass this covid 19 we will get over it humanity and science will overcome already i read about the, this doctor in new york who treated about 700 patients successfully, all of them, with uh, this anti-malaria drug and an antibiotic, a mix of two of them together. Uh, I am uh, very positive soon we'll get o uh, over this COVID-19. Other things will come too. This is how life is. Uh, a long time ago, I read that as we evolve, uh, viruses and germs, they evolve always. And no matter what we do, there's always things that will kill a certain number of human beings. This is the, the, the order of the world, the way the nature works. When you grow up, other things evolve with you to destroy you. That's the price we pay for being human beings. Uh, but uh, this is a life God is with us. God will protect us. And uh, we just have to have faith in, in Him. But meanwhile, we also have to have a healthy lifestyle, have a good weight. Uh, we should not eat a lot. I strongly believe a lot of the problems of the world can be solved if we eat less and walk more. So please uh, eat good, healthy food. Do, uh, try not to eat so much sugar, bad fat, uh, red meat, cut those bad stuff, no soft drinks, drink a lot of water. Um, now you have to stay indoors. If you live in a home, uh, please make sure you go in the backyard to get some sunshine, which is good for your immune system. If you live in a condo, do not go out. Just use your balcony uh, if you have a balcony to get some fresh air, some sunshine if you can. Um, improve your immune system, vitamin C, vitamin D, eat foods that have those. And uh, being positive, positivity has a lot of effects uh, uh, on you and uh, no matter what you're doing being positive always improves your life uh, it improves you, your mood your system and it actually it has been shown by being positive you can produce hormones in your body happiness hormones you can affect your dna and chromosomes 
and you can affect your nervous system, your white blood cells. It's amazing. All by being positive. Before they thought it's your hormones that control you. The happiness hormones is produced, you become happy. But now it's actually a simple technique that uh, uh, you can do, for example, by just smiling, even there is, if it's, there is nothing to make you happy. Just keeping your mouth in a smile position. That, if you do this, it, ha it causes production of the happiness hormone in your body. And that works like a chain. It's so simple. Just make sure at a certain time every day to uh, smile. And after a while, that becomes your habit. It's very simple. And then those hormones produce and you become happier. And it, this chain uh, starts and make you happy. I always, when I'm driving, I have a smile on my face. And uh, these uh, little things that you can do will make you a more positive person and brings more happiness to your life and improves your uh, business, improves your income, improves your health, and improves the health of your patients. That's uh, about it for today. I hope you enjoyed your, uh, this video. I love you all. I appreciate I'm grateful that you uh, watched this video. I am grateful to God. Thank you, God, for making me healthy and alive uh, and allowing me to open my eyes one more time after sleep to wake up. Every day that I wake up, I am happy, I'm grateful. It's another day. I always live my day like it's the last day of my life. And I'm grateful to God. I had the chance one more time to make a video for you, to share my knowledge with you. And I pray for you to... Uh, stay happy, healthy, wealthy, wherever you are. Please be positive. Please smile. Please be happy. Please eat well. And that's it for today. God bless and namaste.